So I'm still drawing a sorrow heads and right off the bat I just want to put this disclaimer up front. I'm not drawing this because I'm a fan. I just needed the reference of a person with a face who has more or less angular proportions because that would work really well before I start doing more complex illustrations of faces. So this guy kind of fits the bill. Whether this works or not is very much dependent on you getting the proportions correct. If that goes off, then you don't really have much of a resemblance. When it comes to hair, it probably makes sense to do it in the same kind of way, where you find a way of breaking the hair down into geometric shapes. You can then from there add on your larger blocks of shading for where the shadows are and for where the highlights are. This isn't intended to be a complete portrait, it's meant to be an exercise, but if I was going to make it a complete portrait, I would probably spend at least twice the amount of time that I did on this. I kind of stopped at the point where it would make a pretty decent underpainting for a complete portrait. Anyway, that's about as much of this as I want to do.